Please come to a sitting position at the front of the mat. And take a comfortable cross-legged position. Uh, please take a chin with your hands. Uh, back of your heads on your knees. So, smile throughout the series. Shang, 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 shang. Shang, 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 shang. Shang, 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 shang. Shang 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 Yum 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 now focus your mind at the navel, uh, just inside the spine at the level of the navel. Then we'll do the mantra for fire. Ram 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 ram. 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 Now the mantra for earth element, the level of the heart, behind the heart, almost touching the spine. Lam 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 lam. Lam 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 lam. Lam 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 lam. Lam 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 lam. Now the mantra for the universal mountain, down here, at the level of the throat, but back towards the spine. Sum 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 sum. 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 Sum 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 sum. Sum 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 sum. Now the sacred syllable for you becoming an enlightened being inside the tip of your head. Just the sound of hum, and we'll do it together. One, two, three. Hum. Please come to standing at the front of your mat. Surya Namaskar, bowing to the sun. On the next inhale, bring your hands to prayer. Inhale once. Exhale your hands down, palms back. In a graceful motion, bring your palms up, facing forward, thumbs left. Bend your knees slightly, come down, clasp your hands behind your back. Hands to the floor, left leg back. Knee down to the floor, and stretch the groin slightly. Right leg back into the Knees, chest, and chin. And into a coma. Now into a down bow. Left foot forward. Right knee down, slight stretch. Right foot forward. Into a forward bend. Hands clasped behind. Hands up. And then in one graceful motion, continue. Clasp the hands behind the back. Hands to the floor. Right leg back. Knee to the floor, stretch, push up position. Knees, chest, and chin. 
अभी ठोका मैंने क्या जानता हूँ राइट फुट फॉरवर्ड ये बैलेंस ट्रैक लेफ्ट फुट फॉरवर्ड फुट फॉरवर्ड ये हैंड्स पास करने पर एंड इन हैंड्स अप इन एयर पास फॉरवर्ड एंड इन हैंड्स अप चेस्ट लेफ्ट स्टेप ब्रीथ इन ब्रीथ आउट हैंड्स डाउन पास बैक हैंड्स अप पास फॉरवर्ड Bend your knees slightly. Clasp hands in front. Hands down before left leg back. Right leg down is push up. Knees chest and chest. Cobra. Down down. Left leg forward. Right leg forward. Clasp hands forward. Hands up to the sky. Arms forward. And then one graceful motion continue. Clasp hands back. Hands to the floor. Right leg back. Push up. Knees chest and chest. Up. Down. Right leg forward. Left leg forward. Hands clasp forward. Hands to the sky. And then hands to the floor. Breathe out, hands down, palms back, hands up, palms forward. Knees bent, forward bent, clasp hands to the back. Hands to the floor, left leg back, stretch the front. Right leg back, to climb. Knees, chest and chin. Hold back, down. Left leg forward, stretch the groin. Right leg forward, forward bend with your hands clasped behind you. Hands clasped to the sky. And continue in one fluid motion. Forward bend and clasp. Hands to the floor. Right leg back. Stretch the groin. Left leg back. Tight position. Knees, chest, and chin. And then push back and turn down. Down. Hold the down. Hold for five. Breathe out four. Breathe out three. Breathe out two. Breathe out one. Come down into your child's pose. And then sit up with your left leg extended forward. Be sure to tuck your heel now, your right heel, tuck into your perineum. Boys have to lift up. And then come down and just hold your left shin. Focus your mind on the chakra. Inside your perineum, about an inch inside your perineum. And just breathe in and out. Straight up. And then come down into a full Janu Shishasana. Head to people. Hold for four. Exhale five. Inhale five. Exhale four. Inhale four. Exhale three. Exhale two. Exhale two. Exhale two. Exhale one. Sit up. Exchange your legs. Right leg extended. Left heel tucked into your perineum. Uh, hands on your head. And just focus on the Udhana Chakra. Breathe out five. Breathe out. Breathe in five. Breathe out four. Breathe in four. Breathe out three. Breathe in three. Without two, without two, without one, sit up straight, and then extend down into a full jump shift lesson. Head to knee. Hold for five. Inhale five. Exhale four. Inhale four. Exhale three. Inhale three. Exhale two. Inhale two. Sit up. Bring the soles of your feet together in the back of the seat. Down triangle foot. We come down about halfway. Exhale four. 
Exhale three. Inhale three. Exhale two. Inhale two. Exhale one. Inhale one. Exhale. Change the legs so it's just like sukhasana, uh, easy pose, not, not like a cross relax. Both legs on the ground. Chin will go with your hands. The release is slower than the contraction. Contract, release. Contract, release. Contract, release. Contract, release. Contract, release. Contract, release. Relax, three deep breaths. Inhale. Small drops again at your own speed. At your own speed. One, two, three. Three deep breaths. One. Three more drops at your own speed. Then we'll do another yasa. Coming to a down, a down dog. Down into a child's pose. Then extend your feet to the front and come to lie on your back. Bend your left knee, sole of the foot. Now place the sole of your foot on top of your right thigh. Uh, here's your left thigh to the sky. Hold your right knee with your right hand. And then open like a book. Left hand to the left side, right knee to the right side. Look to the left. Hold for five. Exhale five. Inhale five. Exhale four. Bring your left knee up. Extend your left leg. Bend your right knee. Right sole of the foot on the left thigh. Then raise your left arm to the sky. Grasp your right knee. Raise your right arm to the sky. And then open like a book. Turn your head to the right. Kiss your right leg. Straighten your right leg. And then come up to sit. We're going to start at Pashimottanasana, uh, bending to the east, stretching to the east. Start, raise your arms to the sky. And then just hold your shins. Bow. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And then come into, down into a four pashima pasana. Hold for exhale five. Inhale five. Exhale four. Exhale three. Inhale three. Exhale two. Exhale one. Come to sitting. Sit up. Bend both of your knees and flex the soles of the feet. Bend your arms with palms up, palms up to the ceiling. And then raise your knees and straighten your legs. Hold the asana, both for five, exhale. Inhale, five. Exhale, four. Inhale, four. Smile. Exhale, three. Inhale, three. Making it offering. Exhale, two. Inhale, three. Exhale, one. Inhale. Lie down on your back, your legs extended. Separate your feet. And then bend both of your knees. Of the feet but keep your feet apart. Keep your feet apart. We will be doing windshield back and forth. So exhale your knees to the left. Inhale. Exhale to the right. Inhale. Keep your feet separate. Exhale to the left. Inhale. Come up to sitting. And move into a vinyas. Which will bring you to down dog.
that's good for the right knee. Both of your, your right thigh and your left should, should be perpendicular to the belly. It's not a lunge. You're just straight up the belly. Raise your right arm to the sky. And then twist over your left thigh. Now try to stay off of your left thigh. Don't lay on your left thigh. Keep some space between your chest and your left thigh. And just release it. Both hands to the floor. Bring your right foot forward to make your left. So then you're standing forward. Back into left foot. Hold for five. After twisting the side channels, we're now stretching them. Stretching them so the front of the floor between two side channels and out of the two side channels. Which carry never to force. Bring your left knee to the floor. Raise your left arm to the sky. And then twist to the left. Hold for five. Three. Slap. Two. Slap. One. Release both hands to the floor. Bring your left foot forward to meet your right. And do a standing forward bend with your palms under your the soles of your feet. That's the last one. Four. Three. Come to a sitting position. And then lay back into it. Hold it on your back. Also, raise your left leg. And then exhale, release to the foot. Right leg up. Point and release to the foot. Left leg up. Point and release to the foot. Right leg up. Point and release to the foot. Left leg up. Point and release to the foot. Right leg up. Point and release to the foot. Left leg up. Point and release to the foot. Right leg up. Point and release to the foot. Take a rest. Now tuck your hands under your buttocks, palms to the floor, palms facing the floor. And we'll do double like this. On an inhale, raise your both legs, point and release to the floor. Raise to the sky, point and release. 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 Take a slight rest. Come to sitting. Cross your legs lightly, so cross them. Easy pose. Hands and chin with us. And we'll, do, we'll be doing Chinese skull kapala body. Take an inhale. Start. Between your hands and go into warrior two. Bring your hands up. 
Open your arms and give your palms to the sky. Palms open, it's a buffer. Smile, try to tuck your tailbone. Bring your tummy in a little bit. Hold. Nice smile. Straighten your leg. Reverse your feet. And warrior two to the other side. Here is the drop. Tuck your tailbone. Palms to the sky. Straighten your right leg, and then step your right leg in slightly to close your stance, just a bit. Raise your left arm to the sky. Touch your left ear to the bicep of your left arm. Keep contact there. And then come over into a modified trigonasana, triangle pose. So there'll be a tight stretch on your left side. Don't lose the contact between your ear and your left arm. Up for five. This is opening the ida, opening the left-hand channel. All the poses in Lady Nikuma's series begin from the left uh, because of Bama Mama. This is the left hand system with the left hand tradition come up straight, right arm to the sky, make contact between your right ear and your arm. Don't lose the contact and bend to your left side. Check your This is opening the Pingala channel, causing the prana to flow through the Pingala channel, flow through the nas, opening the nas, and flowing into the bottom of the sushumna or the central channel, uh, bringing the prana to flow in the channel of compassion and the channel of wisdom. Come up to straight. Bring your right foot gracefully, gracefully towards the front of the mat to meet the left. Join your palms at your heart, interlace your fingers, raise your arms to the sky, and then bend to the right side, which is putting a stretch on the left channel. But again, we're starting with the left hand channel, the inner channel, and we're opening it, stretching it to increase the flow of prana out of the channel. Eventually, uh, this prana, this channel, inner, in which desire flows, unreasonable desire, bring your hands to the sky, change the clasp of your fingers, and then bend to the other side. Again, we're opening the pingala channel, the red channel. In this channel, a flow of thoughts are because of the knots. So if you open this channel by stretching it or by twisting it, then thoughts of anger will leave the mind. And eventually, the angular channel, the red channel, bring the hands to the sky and then drop the hands to the side. Uh, we'll be doing uh, Varshasana, the tree pose. And please bring your right, the sole of your right foot into your left thigh. If you fall out, which is normal, then uh, just touch the foot to the ground and come back into the, virtue, into the tree pose. Try to focus the eyes. Somewhere ahead of you, focus the foot. Try to bring the right knee back slightly. Release the right foot to the floor. And bring the left foot up to the side, inside the right thigh. And take three points. Release your left foot to the ground. Extend your arms to the front, palms down, and then come down to a sitting position. And lay back on your back. And we'll be going into a Viparita Karani, which is a half shoulder step. You know you're in the right position when you feel pressure behind the area of your heart. In a full shoulder step, we're putting pressure behind the area of the neck, the throat chakra. But in this half shoulder step, Viparita Karani, um, we're trying to put pressure behind the heart. So come up to sitting. And please take a vinyasa, take a transition. When you reach down dog, then come into a push-up position, plank, and then lower yourself in a straight line to the floor, and your belly to the floor. Pillow your head with your hands. Put your hands under your head. Pillow your head and look to the left. Look to your left. And just relax, totally relax. This is a very important pose in this series. If you don't relax at this point in the series, uh, the series might make you tense, so it's important to take this relaxation. Palms up to the sky, palms up to the ceiling. And then we'll be raising our uh, head, chest, and legs up. Smile gracefully, which releases the two side channels in the area of the forehead. Hold for five. Four. Three. Two, spot. The four. Pillow your head and turn to face. The, turn your head to the right side. Take another one. It's very important to take these rest here. Uh, 
please grasp your ankles and then come up into your bone. Meeting your bone elbows. Extend your feet forward and come down up to Megala. We'll be doing a Tibetan post ball, giving basically uh, rolling forward and back. So, bend your knees, and then take five rolls at your own speed forward and back. This distributes Kana along the spike. Very, very important for us. It distributes the Kana. When you're finished, come to a sitting position. Place your hands behind your back. Uh, we're going to start on the throat chakra, which in Tibetan is called the Samboga chakra. Check out experience. Uh, hands behind your back, fingers facing forward. And then come up into a tabletop pose. Hips as high as you can get them. Hips higher, hips higher. And release your neck to the back. We're opening the throat chakra, Samboga chakra at the throat. It's a modified Purvati pose. Release and come to sitting. And then come into the shoulder stand, Sarvangasana. As you can feel, this is putting uh, pressure, acupressure on the throat chakra. The throat, all these chakras are made from parts of the body, but they don't, that doesn't mean they're located at the throat. They're located at the level of the throat, back towards the back of the just in front of the spine. So focus. Now come down into a plow pose. Keep your mind at the throat chakra. And then release to the floor. Slowly to sitting position. Sukhasana, slight cross, just legs on the floor. It's exhale, sharply, long exhale. And then bring the stomach in and up, the abdomen in and up, and hold. Chin down. Release. Take a deep breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Take another Ujjana breath. In and up. Abdominal muscles in and up. Deep in breath. Deep exhalation. Deep in breath. Deep exhalation. Hold. Just take a lot. Let us put your foot. Add down the muscles in and then up. Chin down. Release. Two deep breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out. Extend your legs with the mat. We'll be doing fish pose, Matsyasana. Uh, come down on your elbows and then release your head back and bring the top of your head to the floor if you can. If you can't, it's okay not to. Hold for five. Exhale. Inhale yeah, five. Exhale four. Inhale four. Exhale three. And then come into child's pose. After child's pose, we'll be doing Shri Shasana, Hansana. Probably the most beneficial of all poses. So now come into Shri Shasana. This pose shouldn't be attempted without training by a qualified teacher on site. There are variations that you can find in the manual. Be teaching other variations. This book should not be attempted without the guidance of a teacher.
down slowly out of the front screen, go to the next down to the and slowly. And then go into child's class to rest of Thank you. 